and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, if you don't mind throwing a like up on this video, that super helps us out. I had a feeling you'd come by tonight, Burr, and sure enough, there you are, eager to pick up where we left off. Let's start with a question then. You must be burning with several after that last affair. Oh yeah, uh, we had to save the old woman and her granddaughter. I want to know this. Why were you being detained? Why do you think I was detained by zealous temple knights who see heretics around every corner? No, you have a point. There was a girl, an innocent. They wanted her, and I objected. Now then, are you ready to stop dancing around the real question and just ask? <laughs> Okay, what was that voice? Ah, uh, yes, the voice. The one you heard when you first touched the crystal. An excellent question. But a difficult one to answer. Some say it is a beacon guiding the Dark Knight to her true calling. Whose is it, you ask? Only you can discover that, for each knight must hearken to a different voice. As you grow more accustomed to drawing upon your dark side, you will come to hear it more clearly. Communion will hasten this process, but we dare not conduct the rites here, under the watchful eye of the Holy See. We will make for Southern Thetalin, for little Alamigo. Tell me the story. You can tell me I'm a doctor. Punctual as ever, I see. Communion, lest you worry, is rather simple. It is a ritual in which one nurtures the darkness within, so that she may channel it more effectively in battle. <laughs> Am I joining a cult? Uh, do not, however, presume the risks to be any less than before. Should you partake of it in excess, you will die. Or worse. So before we begin, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to kill something for me. Something feral, something fearsome which will push you to your limits. I want to see you thrive in that moment. That way I will know you are ready. Ask Gundobald. He should know of a suitable creature. Kill them. So funny. A pleasure to see you again, Burr. Do you require assistance? Training? Well, if you seek dangerous beasts for that purpose, then... The Red Labyrinth is home to... Pastes? Notorious for their size and vigor. Our trappers take great pains to avoid their nests, and those who do not, do not bear scars for their folly. I pity the man who dies without scars. But these pastes sound promising. Tell me more. They've attacked caravans loaded with alved goat carcasses before. The smell drives them into a frenzy. This should serve to draw them out of hiding. Is he just gonna... Does he just have meat? Just a carcass in his pocket? That's suspicious. That's weird. Burr, I'll always be grateful for what you did. Those young ones were on the verge of making a terrible mistake, so consumed with anger that were they. I hesitated to act, even though I saw it burning within them, as I see it burning within you now. You, you seek the darkness within. I would not claim to understand your meaning, but I wish you well in your training. Let's go. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, they're close. I can feel their eyes upon us. Well, we're here. Show me who you are, Burr. Show me what you can do. I'm waiting. That wasn't so hard, now was it? To mate out your justice, to protect the weak from the strong and so forth, you yourself must be strong. Strike this pain. Strike this suffering. Strike this sacrifice. What is this fish doing? Just eating my feet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we must prepare for communion, but not here. Come, before more pice are drawn by the spell. You look ready. Ready? Good. Now listen well. Close your eyes and hold out your hand towards me. Breathe deep through your nose. Let the air fill your lungs and let it pass from your lips. Slower. Slower. Listen to my voice. Listen to your heartbeat. Listen for the other. With every breath, you grow lighter and slip further into the abyss. One foot in front of the other, over and over again. To the ends of the world and back again. And if time has no end, still forward and onward, over and over again.
So, what did you hear? Interesting, but not terribly informative. But do not lose heart. That you were able to hear it once more is progress enough. I believe you will come to understand its words and its will in due time. I should mention that in some instances the voice is said to be that of another, one whom the Dark Knight is fated to seek out. If that is the case, you may have a long journey ahead of you. Heh. <laughs> so you would welcome such a journey. There is something to be said for it, and for travel, for that matter, to roam free and help those in need. Yet no good deed goes unpunished, does it? I knew a woman once, wanted to be a hero, do great things, and so she did. The songs always end there, but life doesn't, does it? Ah, huh. oh. There are temptations more deadly than the dark side, Burr. You should have learned this by now, but you haven't. You will. <laughs> the communion is ended, and with it, our time together. But we shall meet again, as we did before. I love that green. Wow. You look well, Burr. More determined. You have not heard the voice since last we spoke. I know. But worry not. If your affinity with your dark side is as strong as I believe, then communion is all you require. Come with me to the burning wall. You know what you must do. It begins as always with blood. A confirmation of your identity. There are axe beaks here which have grown ferocious beyond reckoning. Vile creatures eager to prey on man and beast alike. Offer yourself to them. They will come. Then make an offering of them to me. Kill, kill, kill. A few moments later. Ah, now that it is the burr I've longed to see. You resent this, don't you? This pointless trial. Perhaps you even resent me for subjecting you to it. Remember this feeling. Treasure it. I want it smoldering within you when we commune a damp, damp dry bone. Damp cry bone. Okay, well he's intentionally making us annoyed with him. Great. <laughs> Close your eyes and hold out your hand towards me. Breathe deep through your nose. Let the air fill your lungs, then let it pass from your lips. Slower. Slower. Listen to my voice. Listen to your heartbeat. Listen for the other. Think the twelve. It is you, Burr. Why, hello. Eisenbard, remember? It must have been ages since last we spoke. Think that you would end up slaying the Lord of the Inferno. When you first came through looking for our missing common folk, I took you for a... Ah... But this isn't the time to reminisce. I sought you out because I need your help. Help? Do tell. Not long ago, an Amalgia raiding party attacked a caravan on the road and abducted several pilgrims. We reported the incident to both the Brass Blades and the Immortal Flames, but it seems neither is in position to muster forces at present. You know what lies in store should they not be rescued soon. Please, Burr, there is no one else. Really? Charge into an enemy encampment filled with Amalja warriors and free some fools who should have armed themselves? Risk life and limb to do the work of a dozen men all because you bl <laughs> you bloody ask? Is that it? Just what we do. But that's what we do, isn't it? Every god's damn time. Fine. We'll bring them back. Ay, ay. Thank you for... They were bound for the encampment to the southeast. Then so are we. <laughs> Can't figure this guy out. What a puzzle. What a puzzle. The nerve of some people after all you do for them. They're inside, just as I Eisenbart said. Mere moments away from being tempered, I'm sure. Well, what are you waiting for? It's time to play the hero. You little potato. God bless you, adventurer. Keep moving, we're not free just yet. We'll pay for your insolence. Oh. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. Hehe. <laughs> just didn't know when to leave off, did they? Neither did you, though, eh? I mean, look at yourself. Most of that's not even your blood. <laughs> She's like, huh? 
Leave it. You've nothing to be ashamed of. Let's go and give Isambard the good news. Welcome back, Burr. I heard you really gave those out balls or what for. Good, good show. Uh, I'm sure you're eager to be on your way, so I won't waste any more of your time. But thank you. Come back whenever you like. <laughs> did you say more to him? What else did you say to this poor man? <laughs> those who have never faced death do not scruple to condemn others to it. They know nothing of true sacrifice and are weak for their ignorance. In sacrifice there is strength. In sacrifice there is liberation. Close your eyes and hold out your hand towards me. Breathe deep through your nose. Let the air fill your lungs and let it pass from your lips. Slower. Slower. So funny. With every breath you grow lighter and slip further into the abyss. On a throne of bone she waits. Serve, save, slave, slay. They come to entreat her judgment. Serve, save, slave, slay. One by one in solemn procession. So, what did you hear this time? And there I was thinking you were on the verge of discerning the truth. Your affinity with your dark side grows stronger by the day, and yet, there is a hesitation. Listen to me, Burr. You have performed great deeds and saved countless people. You are a hero to the realm, but you are no Dark Knight. A Dark Knight accepts that she cannot save everyone, that sometimes she is fortunate just to save herself. Sacrifice, Burr is to renounce that which binds you, to recognize that which matters, and forsake all that does not. At the very least, you must realize that you cannot continue to carry all these burdens, unless you wish to die a slave. I find just a little... just a little tired. The communion is ended, and with it, our time together. But what, we shall meet again, as we did before. Huh. The beginning of question your commitment, Burr. Sometimes I doubt your commitment to Sparkle Motion. You haven't heard the voice since our last communion, which means you haven't taken my lessons to heart. You know I'm trying to help you, don't you? All of this is for your benefit. You listen, but you don't understand. Oh no! Don't die. Never mind. You're the stubborn type. I know that. So we'll just have to keep at it until you open your eyes. Laura B. Dry Docks. That's where we'll head next. I'm the stubborn type. So wait, it said Frey. She. So is this a woman? I thought this was a man. Not that I'm trying to assume anybody's gender here, but... <laughs> Never much cared for the ocean myself. That friend of mine, the one I told you about after our first communion, we came out here together once. Long story short, we ended up doing something ridiculously foolish and we're lucky to make it out alive. I tried to talk her out of it, but she just had to get on that damn boat. Don't be like that, friend. Isn't the Maelstrom supposed to aid the small folk when they're in a spot of trouble? So far as it is possible, yes. But such matters fall within the purview of the Yellow Jackets and... And they told me to bugger off. Can you believe that? I'm begging you, Sergeant. <laughs> bugger off. I... Wait, is that you, Burr? It is! The legend herself! Forgive me, madam. I never thanked you properly for your service to Lim Salaminsa. When I first heard Leviathan had been summoned, I feared that. Why, if it isn't that famous adventurer who's been killing primals left and right? Truly, the Twelve must be watching over me because you're just the woman I need. I, I am the victim of a terrible, they heinous crime. I was waylaid by Kikirin bandits near the Salt Strand, who left me with naught more than the clothes on my back. And what makes you think I give a Kikirin's arse about your troubles? 
Go and bother the yellow jackets, like the sergeant said. I seek worthy prey, not a gang of rats. How can you say such a thing, madam? Without your help, I'm ruined. Uh, I'm doing it. Wait, just listen. You said you wanted worthy prey, yes? Their leader was a mean-looking bastard, at least two or three times the size of the others. It'd probably take a dozen men to bring him down. If it's a challenge you want, then there it is. Just you against him and his cronies. What say you, madam? Shut your mouth and wait here. I'll be back. I'll be back. If this key cared isn't everything he promised, I'll take it out of his hide. Let's make the most of this bird. No style, no guile, just chaos. Mark your limits and push yourself beyond. Let the darkness guide you and set you free. When I was young and naive, I would have said arson, but I'm gonna go with voodoo. Okay. Hehe, <laughs> tenacious bastards. Right then. The goods. Good. There's nothing left here for. For. <gasps> you did well. All that's left is to return the goods to their owner. Finish it. Finish what we started. Oh no! Flying chair. Away! Ah, uh, to you. Were you able to catch up with those bandits? Yeah, yeah. Er, yes. That seems to be mine, but... But what? Lemme and take me. I can't sell this. Everything's soaked with through with kick kid blood. What did you do? Carve one open and leave him to bleed all over my wares? I'm ruined. Utterly ruined. Madam, I demand recompense for your reckless destruction of my property. I am a reasonable man, so I will acknowledge that you are not wholly responsible. Fifty percent of the value should suffice. Fifty percent. Fifty percent! I slaughter a gang of Kikir bandits for your precious goods, and this is the thanks I receive. <laughs> you spineless sack of shite. I kill your enemies, I fetch your things, I do what you people can't or won't do yourselves. You're helpless, weak. All you do is want and need. I should have left you all to drown in Leviathan's tidal wave. At least then I would have been spared your constant bloody whining. Do not speak to me of this ever again. Pray forgive me my insolence, madam. But, madam, I... You have every right to be upset, but... I think he understands, madam. <laughs> what is going on? Is she talking for me? Like, through me? Is she not here? Am I just being, like, uh, sassy to everybody now? <laughs> Mr. Krabs, I am so confused! We can't keep doing this, Burr. You must see now what it's doing to us. What they're doing to us. These... these people. Just say that. He was being a jerk. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yeah, you're right you are, bro. Right you are. Felt good, didn't it? Seeing that sniffling wretch tremble. I think he nearly pissed himself. Ha <laughs> ha! You're finally starting to see them for what they are now, aren't you? Good. Good. All that remains is to hearken to the voice, to grasp its words, and discover your true calling. Become one with the darkness. Embrace it. With every breath you grow lighter and slip further into the abyss. A chorus of voices cry out for a hero, and she comes. She smiles, she nods, and she remains silent. But she too has a voice. I will be heard. Berlin. That's my day. You stand at the precipice, but do not fear the fall. Cast yourself into the abyss and you shall soar above, free at last. There are other lands than these, Burr, lands where we are not known. Ask and we shall quit this place forever. Forever? Only when you have renounced everything are you free to do anything. When we meet again, you will give us your answer. I knew you would come to your senses, Burr. Now let us, let us go. If I never see snow again, it'll be too soon. We should go somewhere warm, at least for a little while. Wait for me near the gates of judgment. When you are alone, call out and I shall join you. A moment later, Frey departs. Though in what direction, you cannot seem to recall. 
Ray, where are you? Wait, I know that voice. It's Berlin, the hero of the Scions. Oh no, who is it now? Oh gosh. Allow me to say what an honor it is to meet you, madam. I mean, by the Fury, the woman who bested Shiva. Every night under Lord Drillawald's command knows the tale. I could go on, but, well, I'll just say it. If I may, madam, we need your help. Oh my gosh. We've a giant problem, madam. A band of them has taken to raiding caravans passing through... Oh, it's a giant problem. <laughs> through Danapin Pass. We think they may be planning to expand their territory. Lord Drillabout wants them gone, but you know how it is. Too much work or too few hands. We need at least two dozen knights to clear them out safely. But now that you're here, madam, we have nothing to fear. Aye. While we create a distraction, you can slip past and put their leader down. Without him, they're sure to cut and run. So will you help us, madam? We beg of you! We beg of you! She's like, no! Okay... Thank you so much, madam. We won't forget- Pray accompany me to the past, madam. We can discuss the finer details of our plan there. No. No more. Enough. He's so huge. The leader should be somewhere in the tunnels, madam. Once you're in position, we'll launch our attack. If all goes to plan, you should only have to contend with the leader and his guards. May the Fury guide and protect us. By the Fury, you really did it. And you made it look so easy. As for us, there were some injuries, but nothing serious. It was startling. <laughs> starting to look rather grim, actually. But the moment he fell, they sounded the retreat. It was an honor to fight with you, madam. You really are everything the bards say. Truth be told, I've been following your deeds for some time now, ever since you first came to Whiteburn Front. Your martial prowess is widely known, of course, but what I find truly inspirational, inspirational was your compassion for the common man. How you would risk your life without thought for fame or fortune. How the lowest among us could find a friend in you. Sir, sir. Is something wrong? It's Lord Drillmont, sir. He heard we were in the field with Bird, as demanding she come to White Brim Front at once. Demanding? What is the meaning of this? Certain allegations have been made, sir. It would seem that she was observed conversing with, with a corpse in the room. <laughs> Not that anyone would ever believe such slander, of course. I should warn you, madam, that some of these allegations were made by Temple Knights. You um. You may be asked to surrender your weapon. Oh, I don't think so. Whoa, take it easy, Tarzan! You're doing the dark magics. <gasps> What's that? Haha, <laughs> surrender your weapon. After what happened in Ulda, they must be mad. Pay attention, Burr. This could be the greatest moment of our life. That is, if you could stop denying the truth that's been staring you in the face since the moment we met. <gasps> Say my name. Say it. Say my, re my real name. Our real name. Come now. You knew Frey was dead from the beginning, but you didn't care. You had a sword and a soul crystal, but what you wanted was a mentor. A mentor with the gifts and the knowledge. A dark knight who could guide you on the path who could, you could aspire to become. A woman who is free to say and do things you would not. Even now, you continue to deny it. Well, deny me all you want. You cannot deny what we have done. Oh, Seth. <laughs> Have I not been good to you? Have I not given you everything I promised? Did I not help you to hear the whispers of our very soul? Open your eyes, look. Do you see now? Do you see? <gasps> oh, snap! 
Everything up to now has been your story. And everything after now will be mine. Oh my gosh. Huh. It would seem I underestimated myself, but no matter. They have borne witness to the darkness within us, to what lies beneath the mask. Burr! Burr! Listen to us! Huh. We will never forsake you, no matter what. We know who you are, Burr. We know. And so do you. Oh. Fantastic display of willful ignorance. Wipe the slate clean. Forgive and forget. Convince yourselves that she can be controlled. The warrior of light, our weapon of light. It isn't too late for her. We we can still be free. Burr, this is sad. So this is your answer. Listen to my voice. Listen to our heartbeat. Listen. This is how it must be, then so be it. But know that when you tire of this raid, I shall be here, waiting to take the reins. You need only ask. Interesting. Well... Praise Alone, you're all right, madam. For a moment, we feared we'd lost you forever. Lord Druma made it clear that we will speak no more of what happened. Not that he had to ask, right? As for your friend, I am told he will be interred with full rights. May his soul rest in peace. Are you certain you are all right, madam? You seem a little... Never mind. Fare you well. You subdue your dark side, for now. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video, because that'll help gather more folks to the video of the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. Alright, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.